lattice degeneration is a peculiar type of degenerative changes in the retina. It has its own characteristic features, a particular pattern also. Usually, these degenerative changes are seen peripheral to the retinal layer. And the characteristic pattern is uh, just like uh, strands, oblique level strands. And it will be seen as a um, web-like or net-like feature having holes in inside, in between. So that is why it is known as lattice degeneration. And uh, anyway, any degeneration in the retina is serious. Because retina is the most sensitive layer of the eyeball and it is concerned with the, more concerned with the vision. So any change, change means pathological change in this area, this particular layer will lead to visual problems, defects. So lattice de degeneration being on the periphery of the retina, the visual problem will be comparatively mild. But if it is persisting for a long time, there is chance of getting retinal detachment. That is the serious thing. Once the retina is detached, vision loss is a compulsory result. So, it, it will happen only in the later stage or in a very serious uh, stage only. In the normal initial stage of lattice degeneration, there will be holes or retinal tears or uh, discontinuity of the retinal layer. So, visual problem defect is there being loss of field, visual field. And also there will be symptoms like uh, flashes of light or floaters. These are very common in the case of day and this type of degeneration. And the risk factors, that means the reason for this is mainly age. And that is degeneration of, uh, in most cases it is related with the senility. So it is considered as a senile change also. But even otherwise it will happen. If the retina is weak or it will be sometimes developed in association with some other types of ocular patho uh, pathologies. Just like uh, macular degeneration or uh, some type of um, degenerative changes associated with the diabetes etc. Then also this type of degenerative changes may happen. So in, even though it is not alarming in the early stage, the detachment, there is a possibility of detachment, so that becomes a serious issue. So it is better to treat it in the early stage, just uh, uh, only one theory for treatment that is as early as possible, especially if that is progressive in nature and will lead to uh, serious uh, visual uh, problems and lattice degeneration comes under that group. Even in degenerative type myopia, that means it may happen in children also, there also there is a possibility of lattice degeneration because in high myopia, especially in degenerative type myopia, the retina will be thinning. That is one pathological change that happens in that group. So thinning of the retina will lead to this type of degenerative changes that also may happen. So, in that group, early treatment is absolutely necessary. There are different types of degenerative changes in retina. The degeneration is, comes uh, as a serious problem since regeneration is very difficult, almost impossible as far as retinal uh, nerve cells are concerned. So, small, small vari variations are there in different types of degenerations. For example, in op uh, atrophic changes, retinal atrophy is there. There, the cells are becoming atrophic. Atrophy means shrinking type. That is a type of degeneration. And then there are also these uh, um, holes or the, some discontinuity may happen. So, that also can be considered as a degenerative change. There are another changes which is known as uh, detachment that is very dangerous. Detachment is 
to the rectangle layers and retina and it will not as such detach but the um, external most peripheral layer may detach there is another condition the it will be split into two types two layers like that if it is detached from the underlying layer that also can be should be considered as a serious issue and in this any type of degeneration vision loss or defect is the most important symptom so in this situation there is another condition there is thinning of the retina that will lead to other changes later as if it is progressive in nature the thinning will lead to degenerative degenerative changes so we have to understand we have to isolate the symptoms signs and symptoms to get a differential diagnosis flashes of light or floaters or just like a scotoma that means some uh, missing areas or some dark areas in the visual field these are all uh, symptoms of this different types of change, uh, pathologies so if there is any more in our progressive uh, type of floaters that should be considered seriously because usually if it is a single floater it is to be um, said to be just avoid it or just ignore it but if it is progressive in nature and side by side other symptoms as like flashes and visual loss etc also are coming then we have to get the differential diagnosis whether it is leading to degeneration of the retina like that and if it is once the retina detachment is happening then there is a possibility of permanent loss of vision there it should be attached by any risk at any cost that is the only method there also flashes of light or floaters etc will be the initial symptoms so any type of degenerative changes and if you are seeing the initial symptoms of visual defects scotoma or missing areas or flashes etc we have to go for a detailed check up and get the differential diagnosis coming to the aspect of treatment in ayurveda it is based upon the theory of vada pitta and kapha just like any other disease of the body so here being the pathology and degeneration and the site of affection being retina we had to consider two factors very seriously that is vada and pitta pitta is the functioning the acting uh, factor and vada is the activating factor in such a case we have to control both the vada and pitta equally so if it is a uh, type of missing or discontinuity or holes on retina like that vada comes to the picture more seriously the the treatment should be in a level of brahmana chilsa brahmana means to nourish or to give which is deficient in ayurveda there are mainly three types of uh, treatment uh, basis one is shodhana chilsa that is to drain out all the unwanted or uh, accumulated um, all types of unwanted things it may be pathogens or toxins or accumulated uh, fluid or whatever it may be second is to nourish which is deficient to substitute which is uh, deficient in that particular structure or body that is known as brahmana chilsa third is if something is abnormal in its property or character or function make it normal normalizing the thing there will not be any accumulation or there will not be any deficiency but which is that will be normal in quantity or quality but not functioning in a normal sense fluctuating or uh, in not moving in the uh, synchronized manner and that type of things should be normalized by treatment that is known as shamana chilsa so here since the detachment or being um, holes and uh, thinning etc the treatment will be more on this brahmana chilsa for that 
because we have to nourish that area we have to make it normal by um, substituting something but we know there is uh, the chance of uh, regeneration is very very low so nourishing will be the main aim that is why it all brahmana chelsa is the most important thing it is not giving new cells but nourish the cells and get it more functionally uh, capable so that type of medicines are uh, the it is possible in ayurveda that is vada samana and brahmana using the medicines which acts as a uh, nourishing factor on the retinal cells or retinal layer that is the basis of ayurvedic treatment for that the particular uh, the very specific treatment procedure known as natra tarpanam that is very helpful highly effective in this particular condition and suitable medicines also are available most of them are medicated ghee the ghee medicated with the appropriate raw drugs that will be effective and there we have to consider one more thing the acting principle is pitta because light rays are focusing on retina and then different various types of reactions are taking place in the retina such as photochemical changes then uh, electric changes then nervous changes like that a series of reactions are there all these are confined to pitta therefore we have to control pitta whatever treatment for vada is being done for that that is why the importance of ghee comes into the picture ghee is very good for both vada and pitta so ghee medicated with the, some drugs which is having the action on vada that type of preparations will be highly effective in the same way since this nerve this retina is the direct extension of brain stem this uh, optic nerve so the treatment should be done on the head region that also is very important for that different types of vata shamana drugs and treatment procedures are there and that should be applied that should be done on the head region only for that the shirovasti shirodhara shiro lebana that type of procedures are highly effective for that particular purpose and if you are doing these two things side by side and using appropriate oral medicine oral medicines then we will get very good results anyway latest degeneration cannot be considered as a medical emergency until the retinal detachment is not happen because the symptoms may be very less or uh, sometimes unnoticed in the initial stage just because it is happening on the peripheral area of the retina and the vision is more concerned with the central area macula fovea etc so if the degeneration is limited to this uh, peripheral area the patient may uh, sometimes unno- get unnoticed so the patient may not be going to uh, ophthalmologist but once this sim- it get progressive or it become more serious then the patient starts to experience some symptoms that may be some visual loss or sometimes uh, flashes and the floaters like that it starts to uh, develop then of course the uh, patient will go to an ophthalmologist then only this may be diagnosed then the doctor will say that it is uh, for a long time it is there and it is not developed immediately it is not an acute like that that itself means there is a there, there was an initial stage which was left unnoticed so whenever you feel any symptom or any defect in the vision uh, at least in the vision then don't wait wait to start the treatment and go for uh, for consultation with an expert ophthalmologist and get it diagnosed and start the treatment that is the best option if the situation is not a serious thing there are methods to be followed as in the oral medications and external ocular applications like that but it should be noticed that there is a possibility of progression and being the condition more uh, alarming so for that and 
scientific level basic level treatment is absolutely necessary to make the retina more stable and more healthy and more functional for that treatment procedures are there that should be done under the monitoring and under the supervision of an expert doctor with the complete iris for that treatment hospitalization will be necessary and even after that if the trigger factors are there in their life for example that patient has to be in front of the uh, system for a long time or to travel always uh, as a part of their profession or career or have to uh, to have so much stress and uh, tension like that it is better to have a uh, complete a perfect level treatment first and then maintain the situation with some simple medications that will give the good results in short the apt diagnosis in the earliest is the first step of the treatment if it is diagnosed in the initial stage treatment will be highly successful because these methods are there for treatment but as the time passes or it gets progressive in nature the chances of detachment is more in that kind of stage treatment is little tough so have the treatment in the correct time and then follow some simple medications either oral or ophthalmic that varies according to the clinical condition of that particular uh, case particular patient then we can manage the condition and protect his vision from being defective